Hello, I am Madan Tirvengda, Senior Consultant working at Apollo Hospital, Chennai. Here I am uh, to share with you a unique experience of a patient who underwent a robotic knee replacement for his, both the knees. So he contacted me about six months ago uh, because this is a unique procedure. We do it in Apollo Hospital. Uh, patient uh, traveled all the way from Andhra with his wife. Uh, yeah. So during the consultation, I go through all the in details of the procedures. So we do uh, look at the patient's gait and then understands their day-to-day uh, -day activities, what are the expectations as well. So they do uh, undergo a CT scan for this procedure. That's the primary aspect of this. So I do the CT scan uh, planning as well. So Preoperatively, we know that how the knee has to be balanced uh, during the procedure. So that is the uniqueness of this surgery. You can see the patient is having the anesthesia. Mostly it's done under epidural anesthesia. The whole point of this is to getting a biomechanically stable aligned knee as well so that the patient can walk immediately post-operatively. The main advantage of this procedure is you can see from the incision, it's a very small incision mm -hmm. and with the minimal bed loss and minimal soft tissue dissection as well. So this is, can be done only in, with the aid of uh, robotic assisted arm. This enables us uh, to do uh, the surgery in a very precise manner. This robotic arm assisted surgery has become a game changer nowadays in all the operating theatre. During the post-operative period, I also ensure that uh, they get a proper walking training and bending exercises as well. Uh, it's a team effort actually. Uh, being a bilateral uh, knee replacement, so the patient was discharged on the fifth day uh, post-operatively once he's been trained and comfortable on doing his own chores as well. Okay, so walking comfortably without any support. So that is the whole uh, point of uh, doing this procedure in a very minimal uh, incision, keeping the pain level less as well for the patient.